Mods are part of what make Hypesol Skyblock so fun to play. They offer infinite opportunities for customization in the game, from completely random things like improving your experience with the bazaar, for example, this bazaar mod, or other things like improving the storage UI, like this NEU storage mod. And a lot of these can make a huge difference in your Hypesol Skyblock experience. But there is one problem. How on earth do you install them? Installing Hypixel Skyblock mods can be a massive pain for lots of people, because going through installing Forge and all of that other stuff can be a huge pain for people. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys the universal installer that you can use to install easy Hypixel Skyblock mods for Windows, Mac, and Linux. This works, it's basically one click, and it will help you install all of the Hypixel Skyblock mods with just one click on your PC. So let's get right into this video after a message from the subscribe button. Please subscribe if you haven't already. We just hit 10k and I'd really appreciate your help getting it even further. So subscribe and let's get right into the video. So you're going to want to go down to the description where I've put a link to the client called SkyClient. So go to the GitHub link in the description and you'll see Skyblock Client, Skyblock Client. So you will want to download the latest release. Right now it is 1.3.9. Press the big blue download button. If you're on Linux or Mac, you're going to want to click the Linux or Mac one, which will bring you to this jar one. But for now, we're going to be looking at the .exe installer because it is for Windows. So press the big blue download button, and it should download a file to your computer called Skyblock Client dash the version .exe. You're then going to want to open that file by double clicking it. Now you will probably get this Windows protected your PC. Uh, this is just because the developer didn't want to pay for Microsoft to get rid of this. So just press run anyway. It's not going to kill your PC. You'll see it'll open up this little terminal window, which you don't really need to look at. And you'll see it'll open this Sky Client window, which is the really important thing you're going to want to look at. So I'm going to bring it full screen to you and you can see there's a lot of stuff in here. So let's look at the best things that you're going to want to get. So first of all, I would highly recommend you get all of these bundles that they suggest, like Quality of Life, Skyblock Co Sky Client Cosmetics, Sky Client Updater, this will help you update the mod, uh, the GUI bundle, Utility bundle, and more. I would also recommend you get Optifine, because performance boosting, Patcher, performance boosting, Skyblock Add-ons, which will also be performance boosting, and here's where we get to things that can be a little bit different. Like Skyblock HUD, this changes the layout of the HUD and Skyblock. Same with this one. These are very much personal preference, and I would very much recommend looking at them before you get them. Not enough updates, I would recommend for pretty much everyone. Same with Danker Skyblock mod and Skytails. Apex is another one that significantly changes the style of your play. So this one I also recommend you look at before installing. Collection Honestly, not that useful anymore in comparison to lots of the other mods on this list, but can still be helpful. Skyblock Personalized, you don't really need, but can still be decently helpful. Dungeons Guide, I would highly recommend. This is Secret Waypoints and is really helpful, um, and it just shows you the best path to secrets. I have a whole video on my channel, and I would definitely recommend it. Same with Toggle Sprint, because just Toggle Sprint, pretty helpful. Time Changer is also really helpful because it lets you change the client side time, and I would also recommend the resource pack manager, which helps you manage if you have a bunch of Skyblock resource packs. And if you want to add Skyblock add-ons, you can go into this advanced settings, open mods folder, and then you'll be able to actually add something like Skyblock extras or different mods that are not included in this video. Now you can go through the ton of texture packs that they have recommended for you. Um, there's a ton of packs on here that you can all look through, but it's completely up to you. So now you can press install Sky Client or update. I'm going to press update because I already have it installed the test before this video, but you would press install Sky Client. So let's press update. So press install Sky Client. So now you will have to wait here for a little bit of time while it installs, which can take a bit of time. Now you'll see the installation is done. Now let's get ready to Minecraft launcher and pick the Sky Client profile. So press OK, close out of this, and go to your Minecraft launcher. So you're now going to want to go to installations and scroll to where you see your Sky Client installation. Looks like this is my Sky Client installation. Let's check if there's a different one. No. This is my Sky Client installation. It's labeled Sky Client and has this little cool icon. Let's press play. 
and start anyway. I need to close my other Minecraft instance first. So you now should see this sky client window. Now you can press play and join Hypixel. Now you will be logging into iPixel with all of your mods installed. If you go to mod options, you'll see there is a lot of different mods now installed. So let's go into Skyblock. You'll see lots and lots of customization options that are really helpful in making your Hypixel Skyblock experience better. You'll probably see a lot of things on the screen that you'll want to customize around and just help you in general. So, I would really appreciate it if you could subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.